What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. We're getting this one up bright and early for you guys. So yeah, we have got a new Dominant Defenders national team selection. This is very similar to the Dominant Defenders that they released like months and months and months ago. It's similar card design. Um, yeah, I mean, it is, it, is kind of, it is kind of something that they've done before with the Defenders and they had the midfielders and they were really good selections. They were really good cards. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is strange. It is strange to see these kind of selections out, but we're going to go into them. They're obviously uh, 100 coins and you obviously get your three goes at them or five goes at them now with which they have switched to so um we're going to have a look at them all and we're going to go over to eFootball db and see what they are and how i train them up um i do have a very interesting video coming either today later on tonight or else tomorrow um about training people up because i see i'm seeing people make a lot of mistakes training cards up and um uh, yeah be obsessed with like player overalls and i'm going to show you exactly uh why in that video so make sure and check that out but yeah we do have koulibaly uh ake uh carvajal j hakimi christian christensen shaw and vickers so look we've got a fairly okay selection but i don't think any of these players genuinely i don't think any of these players are going to move the needle for you you know what i mean i don't think they're they're going to come into your squad and be absolute beasts now we do probably have to take a look at kula bali first because he's probably the pick of him him and hakimi uh you know what you're getting with kula bali good height good speed uh good defensive ability straight off the bat he's also got all the player skills that you could possibly want including interception and blocker i will be doing a video on interception and blocker i have half it done i just need to get a couple of more clips to show exactly the difference between a player that has them and doesn't and it can be hard sometimes but he's got a wavering form the three boxes you need to see if they're checked all the time when you are looking for players especially with the live update being off for the next couple of weeks uh with the world cup is whether the player has unwavering form he does and then if it's a defender he needs to have two out of you know two or three out of like the best stats per position so if it is a center back you need to have interception or blocker or potentially both and then obviously you need to have either heading man marking or aerial superiority or sliding tackle Koulibaly has every single player skill that you could want from a defender's point of view so he is a monster lads he is a beast um now when we actually go over to him here on eFootball DB obviously the team play style is going to be set at 90 for everything so that's huge sorry I've been a bit quieter as well lads uh, I am a bit kind of sick um but yeah, he's got really good ability. Now, I'm going to show you guys how I would train him up. He's got 18 levels to go, right? So, I mean, you don't really need to worry too much about his pace. I would probably bring the pace up four. Um, I'd bring it up just four so that it's only taking four progression points and you don't need to waste, you know, six because it takes two from there on in. Um, I'd probably boost up his speed, obviously, to 78. That should be enough. So you've got 78 for the speed, 69 for the acceleration, and then the area of strength, we're going to get to 80, and then I'm going to pump the rest into the fence. That's what I want out of Koulibaly if I am going to be playing with him. Now, you could reduce one there, um, which will give you four progression points. And, you know, that would mean that you could boost one more up into acceleration, which might make a difference. Um, and then one into aerial strength and you still got your defensive engagement, awareness, everything. So you can boost him up both ways there. Um, that is probably going to be, in my opinion, a slightly less... Uh, better version of him because you're not going to really miss this you know the 70 acceleration but you are going to be better with the tackling and the defensive awareness even higher especially with those stats so that's how i would train him up at a 93 overall he looks like an absolute monster but the other cards that have already been released like you know they're not going to they're not going to be i don't think that he's going to replace your chosen center backs especially if you've got any of the national packs or especially if you've been playing for a while but if you are a newcomer he definitely is going to dominate at the back if you you know if you haven't played with him before or you haven't played with one of the top 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 center backs you will notice a difference in Kula Valley. now there is an interesting choice here as well that we're going to go to and it is Vickers who on like looking at him he does have blocker and area superiority he does have unwavering form um he's not the tallest center back so obviously he does he's not going to be great in the air but he's an interesting one as well um if you do pack him obviously and you are a usa fan or whatever he's got a nice player card obviously not going to be the best player but he does train up quite well you can kind of have him as a kind of a mix and match like he's not going to have the best stats but you can actually turn him into quite a fairly decent player um especially with the acceleration up a little bit higher than 
you know, most cards would get to. He's still going to be a bit low on the defensive side and a little bit low as we look here on the acceleration. So, yeah, I mean, that's not something that a little bit underrated, I would say, because he actually plays really good in game. Um, and that Celtic card that he had as, as well uh, with the pack and in his standard version is quite good as well. But yeah, other than that, I think it's a bit of a miss. Um, same with Kim, how, who we have here. He's really tall, so we're going to be training up his header ability. Um, and as you can see, he does have a lot of the good player skills that you could possibly want. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good players like this on the game. He does have interception and blocker. He does have unwavering form. And then he has weighted pass and sliding tackle as well. So again, that's not bad um, if you're looking for a card like that. But there's a lot of cards like this, man. I mean, it's an interesting pack Like in terms of it's kind of a weird pack because I thought they'd be tapping into more legends, you know, and have new legends and stuff i don't understand why you know they're releasing these kind of packs now um because they're not going to be as hype as like unique cards because these are very very similar to other cards that they've released before like luke shaw obviously he's a good card as well he's actually one of the most underrated players on this he does have standard form which is a bit of a letdown but he has interception and blocker which for a left back is very good he also has offensive left back our offensive fullback and he's a good passer fighting spirit as well and he's got some good stats around the board that when you train him up you can actually get a fairly beast left back obviously you know if you've got one of the meta left backs he's not going to get a place in your squad but 89 speed 89 stamina 90 aggression pretty decent for a player that if you do pack him he is probably going to be worth it similar with Carvajal here as well Real Madrid's and Spain's Carvajal who's having a good tournament so far he's actually got pinpoint crossing as well as early cross as a player skill and a play style he's got speeding bullet he's got fighting spirit very good player as well very similar to Shaw 89 speed actually got better stamina better ball control and dribbling uh but not as good you know defensively aggressive or anything like that and then you also have as the right back the pick of the bunch every single player obviously on this is going to be overshadowed by Hakimi he's one of the best players in the game full stop we've got so many stats that we can mess around with here he's got actually a lot of levels I'm surprised that Hakimi has got so many levels because there is obviously just right backs and uh our full backs and center backs in this we'll get to Christensen and, and Ake in a second but Hakimi starts off at a level um 83 but he has he has 31 levels which is insane for a card like this he does have standard form which is the only letdown on this card i would say otherwise he's probably as good as like the likes of Cafu obviously he doesn't have the defenses of Cafu but he's as good as Cancelo he's as good as Kimmich right back he's as good as any of the other right backs that you're probably using Trent or whoever in my opinion I think he's an absolute beast I have him on my Xbox profile he's my main right back and I actually do think I might try and spin for him because he's so good um but that standard form is a pity with the live update at the moment but yeah, pinpoint crossing. He's also got um, speeding bullet, amazing run and incisive run as his styles. And then he's got acrobatic uh, clearance, fighting spirit, pinpoint crossing, as I said, chop, turn, scissors, fade. He's a really good on the ball dribbler. Very good going forward. He is very similar in my opinion. He's very similar to Trent and how he attacks the ball and how he attacks, you know, being aggressive. Um, but again, you've got multiple ways of training him up. You've got a lot of options. Like you could, if you wanted to, because he's so fast, you could actually probably get away with that and throw the throw one more into defensive to get his defensive engagement up to 80, his aggression up to 78. You actually could possibly get away with the passing as well. Like for, you know, a right back, you don't need that passing. If you wanted to just turn him into a kind of like a meta, um, well, in my opinion, a meta uh, kind of like right back, you could literally take all this away here, leave that at like 94 leave his kick and power his stamina at 89 take away his aerial strength you've got 21 points there that you could throw in to the defensive side of the game if you wanted to do that and you could have you know a pretty beast there if you wanted to or else what i would probably recommend doing because you're going to have to spend so many coins or points on getting his defensive side up i would probably just turn him into a right midfielder um that's probably what i would do i would still leave him defensive a little bit but yeah i would just focus on genuinely just packing him out getting him up to maybe 97 and then obviously you know maybe 94 and then the dribbling if you wanted to do that you could get four into shooting um or even you could get one more into uh there and you'd have a 98 speed right back 
your defensive stats don't really matter because you're obviously going to be playing as a right midfielder um so that's not going to be too big of a concern and he looks like an absolute monster if you were to train him up that way that's how i would probably train him and play him right back and then we also have uh ake here as well who is again one of my favorite players to use in my xbox profile i'll show you my xbox account um team someday let's i keep saying i will but i never forget to play because i don't have the the xboxes down in the sitting room downstairs so i don't have it like set up to my capture card or anything but i'll take a few screenshots but yeah again this guy is a very good player really really good player he's an extra front man i am going to be covering that playing style quite soon because it is a very interesting one and then last but not least we have christiansen who is pretty much a run of the mill um type center back as well like he goes up to a 94 overall or something like that he does have some good player skills as you see here interception he does have standard form which is a bit of a pity ake also has <coughs> in in his card a standard form and interception so they're kind of similar cards except christensen is a bit taller um and he's got build up but yeah i mean like is he going to make a big difference in your squad excellent defensive stats we've trained up his defensive stats quite a lot very good in the high ball as well without training too much but uh, speed wise you are going to be caught a little bit towards the end of games if he's your main you know defender he's also part of the barcelona pack and i would say that the barcelona version is slightly better um just like all round build up play but not as good defensively so you can you can kind of obviously keep that in consideration when you're doing it um if you were to get the barca pack or if you did get that barca pack and you have two of them you just haven't trained them so that is it lads make sure to check out eFootball db if you guys want to simulate the players or check out if they'd be any good for you um and compare the players with other versions and stuff but yeah that is it for me i will talk to you later hope you enjoyed the video peace